Right guys, how you guys doing? Welcome to Apple Weekly number 17, the show where I kind of cover all the Apple and tech stories of the week and give you feedback, give you my thoughts on it, and hopefully in the comments below you can kind of give your opinion. Without wasting any more time, let's go straight into the stories of this week. First story of this week is in relation to iWork09. It's not being stock at the Apple store anymore. Stocks are very low, even on Amazon, and a few Apple retail employees have confirmed they are getting no more stock of iWork09, which could mean one thing. Uh, the Mac App Store is due to be launched on 6th of January, confirmed by an Apple press release a few days ago. Uh, so it's obvious, it kind of makes sense to have iWork 11 come in January in the Mac App Store. And excited because now when you go out and get iWork 11, uh, you don't have to buy the full package, you can only get what you want, i.e. the same what you did with the iPad, you don't have to buy the full suite. Uh, you can, If you want, you can just go with Keynote, if you want, go for Pages. So come the 6th of January, um, iWork 11 has also appeared briefly uh, in the Apple Store website for some odd reason. Uh, then it got taken away so it could be an error and someone's head's probably already on the line. Um, but interesting times ahead for the Mac App Store, I think it's going to be one of the top or one of the main uh, kind of software available at launch for uh, the Mac App Store. Second story of this week is in relation to a couple of insiders uh, in the US who have got charged with kind of sharing uh, secrets. Uh, with not only Apple, Dell, RIM, and there's a few other companies. So what these insiders specifically done was they kind of sold, uh, took cash, and then gave information to research analysts. Uh, and this, and, and specifically talking about Apple, um, these insiders gave away iPhone uh, st stock uh, sales figures, uh, the upcoming iPad, uh, what it was going to have, what it was codenamed a few months before launch. Um, these insiders said the iPhone 4 is going to have two cameras, a VGA camera and an HD camera in the back, kind of gave away the type of case. Uh, so again, these are quite crucial things and when it comes to Apple, um, one of the kind of good things or one of the marketing things or one of the things that sells the products in the first place is this marketing. Uh, and they're not like Google, they're not like Microsoft who reveal products a month in advance. So they're not like Microsoft and Google who give away information months in advance and then come the actual launch of their products they're still not ready or uh, they kind of ditched even before it's due to be launched. So I mean these are some serious allegations and some serious uh, crimes. Uh, it's good that these guys didn't caught uh, because obviously if they, if they continue going on uh, then it could have obviously it has hurt uh, Apple's business and sales and not only Apple you know but Dell every uh, IT, a major IT, I think it was Acer and Asus in Israel, so good on uh, the government uh, for a change to, to enforce this arrest warrant and uh, legal charges against these guys. The third story of this week is in relation to a few job postings that went on to the Apple corporate website and they're specifically looking for uh, iOS uh, navigation uh, engineers. Back in 2009, late 2009, they had a similar posting where they said they wanted to take the maps to the next level. Uh, and Google Maps has been on the iPhone since day one, uh, and Apple and Google, Apple versus Google shall I say, they really want to move away from the whole, whole Google side and they want to create something of their own. And I think that's good, I think it's going to be very interesting what Apple can pull off. Uh, they might buy TomTom, uh, we don't know, that'd be very very interesting because TomTom is quite a, when it comes to UI, when it comes to the brand, it's quite big. Uh, and Apple have taken over a lot of small uh, developers who are working on navigation in the recent months. So could Apple in 2011 be looking to take it to the next level, taking over a big brand and then incorporating that into their iPhone and having like Apple Maps or iNavigation shall we say. So um, I, this is just a hiding stage uh, and this same thing happened last year as well um, but could they really be pushing this for let's say the iPhone 5 or the next version of iOS? Interesting times ahead. And the last bit of story for this week is, and it's the juiciest bit and I kind of saved it for last. You know, when I see iOS rumours or iOS related news, I'm like, okay, um, it doesn't, it wows me, but it's not that juicy to me. Uh, what's meaty to me is MacBook Pros, iMacs, uh, everything Mac hardware related. Uh, as much as I, you know, I like iOS, so don't, just don't take it wrong, but when it comes to iMacs, MacBook Pros, Mac Minis, Apple TV and all that, uh, you know, hardware based, it gets me very excited. And this week uh, was kind of a killer story. And Digitimes, who have claimed that new MacBook Pros and updated iMacs will come in the first half of 2011. We all kind of know that it's going to happen before Snow Leopard's released. The MacBook Pros haven't been updated since April 2010. The iMacs were only refreshed just a couple of months ago, three or four months ago if I'm not wrong. Uh, and, and the updates Digitimes are reporting is updated for, there's going to be four, up to four 
MacBook Pro models or refresh models and the iMac is going to have a refreshed um, case or a design um, and there's not going to be any touch screen. Uh, Steve Jobs killed that uh, in his recent keynote where he said people don't want to be touching the screen and if I do that uh, aim my hands up and I'm going to get tired after a while and it doesn't make any sense. That's why they've got the trackpad so I don't think it's going to be any touch screen. Um, they might, uh, well obviously they're going to probably increase the processors, graphics card, flash, remove the optical drive, we don't know. But what's important to me is the MacBook updates uh, because, and I've said this a loads of times before, um, the MacBook lineup and the entire range is kind of overlapping each other. Um, the MacBook Air, the baseline MacBook uh, and the MacBook Pros, the baseline, they're all kind of mixed in so when a consumer is looking for something, they don't know which one to go for, uh, and this is not Apple like. You know, Apple have a very distinct line, um, and this is one of the reasons why Apple failed back in the day because they had too much stuff. Steve Jobs came back in, he cut most of it off and made it simple for the consumer to choose. And I think um, it's tricky areas because the MacBook, uh, or whenever Apple released that statement where they said the MacBook is our best selling laptop, that could have changed by the next time or 2011 when Apple update the MacBooks because the MacBook Pro might be the best selling MacBook now. Personally what I want to see is the white polycarbonate MacBook should go, the 13 inch base MacBook Pros should become the MacBook as they were originally uh, and the 15 inch and the 17 inch should just be Pros uh, with uh, SSD drives, uh, better graphics, um, Core i5, i7 even better. Um, but I don't think there's any need for a white polycarbonate MacBook in my opinion, uh, unless, I don't know, uh, let's wait till next uh, <laughs> quarter. Uh, if you are buying a MacBook Pro, don't, uh, is my opinion. If you can wait, then wait. Safe to get a MacBook Air, they've just been released, and if you really do want a MacBook, uh, I would suggest a MacBook Air over the white polycarbonate and over the white, uh, or the 13 inch baseline MacBook Pros, the 13 inch ones. The MacBook Air is going to perform better. The only reason you should be going for a 13 inch MacBook Pro is if your work, if you rely on optical drives, not because of the specs but because of the optical drive uh, and that's my uh, experience or my opinion on it. But what do you guys think, what do you want in the next upcoming MacBook Pros? Were you thinking of getting one for Christmas and you're like, you know what, I'll hold on uh, until uh, 2011. Or did you say, hey, I'm going to go out and get a MacBook Air or what the heck, I'm going to go out and get a MacBook anyway. Um, but guys that's it for this video, thanks for watching, remember you can watch this on iTunes, if you can leave a review on iTunes that would be fantastic, if you can leave a comment down below on YouTube that would be great, uh, and guys I will see you in, in our life, cheers.